Welcome to the ElfQuest Collector's Guide. I'm your pack leader for this hunt, Mandy Roncalio Meyer. Or if that's a bit too much of a mouthful, you guys can call me Shadowfire. Today on the show, guys, we are going to unbox one of my Holy Grail items. This is an item I've been wanting for a while. It's actually been really hard to find anywhere online for sale. And when it pops up, it usually pops up for like a couple hundred dollars. Luckily, recently it popped up in the official ElfQuest eBay shop, and I was able to nab one. So, this is yet another package that came straight from Richard Peeney. You guys know I love getting packages that say they're from Richard Peeney. It's just, I think it's really awesome that we as fans can receive packages directly from the creators of the series we love. So, it's just, that makes it just that much more of a thrill every time I get a package that says Richard Peeney on it. It's just like, yeah, straight from the guy! Okay. Without any more ado, let's get to this. I'm super excited about this, guys. Okay. Now, this was on sale now uh, in the ElfQuest eBay shop. And it's probably one of the priciest items I've ever bought. I usually don't pay that much for my ElfQuest stuff because I don't really have a lot of money. I'm actually low income. But uh, I, I couldn't pass up my opportunity. This was the cheapest I'd seen this item available, and I had to nab it directly from Richard Peeney himself as soon as I could. So, tearing into it. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Alright, guys. Okay. It's a tube! That's what I've always wanted! No, I'm joking. It's not the tube, guys. It's what's inside the tube that counts, that's important, that I'm excited about. In any case, inside the tube, guys. Now, as you guys can probably guess, it's a poster or a print. Otherwise, why would it come in a tube? But, uh, all right, guys, I'll just tell you. I'll tell you before I get it open. This, guys, is my copy of the Homage to Urte print. For those of you unfamiliar with the Homage to Urte print, it was a print that Wendy did let me get my info that I left downstairs. Okay, now I got my info in front of me. I can actually tell you guys what I did my research on. Uh, so anyway, so this print is actually called the Homage to Urte. Wendy Peeney did this image back in 1989, and it was a, as it's, as it's called, homage to Urte, who was known as the father of Art Deco. Now, in 1989, they came out with specific prints of this that were used as a um, kind of promotional item for the German editions that were coming out. This is not specifically one of those prints that were numbered and signed and all that back in 1989. This is actually an extra copy that they found. Um, according to the eBay shop, um, we just discovered a few more copies of the print that were never signed and numbered. We believe they were overrun copy copies that no one could bear to destroy, and so they were also given to us. So this is not from that original print run. Well, it probably kind of is, but it isn't from that original sale run. Um, it's kind of like a little bit of a bonus. It's like they came out with these prints, and then there were extras, and so they sold the extras on the eBay shop. And I had to nab it. The Homage to Urte print has been a long sought-after item that I've been wanting for a very, very, very long time. You guys know how much I love Winnowill, and this is one of, if not my favorite, image of Winnowill. So, okay, now that I had my info, I had a little bit of details for you guys, let's get on with this. Uh, last thing I want to say before I get back to unboxing is, stay tuned guys, I am doing my giveaway at the end of this video. I've got my hat all ready to go with the names in it, my magical purple fedora. I'm going to mix up the names and pull out my winners for the two ElfQuest coins and a French mini edition. Uh, we'll get back to that in just a little bit, guys. So stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'll be hosting that giveaway. Now, guys, as I said, this is not the actual, like, limited edition. Uh, it was limited to 300 copies edition of the Homage to Urte. This is one of the spare copies that they happen to have found afterwards. And uh, so, therefore, it's got a new aut autograph on it. Wendy just signed it this year. It might even say 2018 instead of 2017 on it. I'm not sure. I get a peek. I see it. I see some widow oil in there. I'm 
excited, guys. Are you excited? Here we go. Oh, so carefully. So carefully. Also, guys, I want to point out that this is printed on nice, thick artist paper. It's not just on cheapy paper. It's not even on glossy paper. Like, this is paper that looks like it could have been originally painted on. So, all right. There we go. Out of the way. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. It's gorgeous already. Now, the other cool thing is it, as I said, it's not one of the official print copies, sorry, but it did come with a copy of the Certificate of Authenticity that did come with the limited edition prints. So it's kind of cool. It's all in German, so I don't know what it says. Um, I'm going to have to look it up, and I'll put it down in the uh, video description or in the comments below what this actually says in English. I, I did find a translation of it on the eBay uh, page, so, but cool. Very cool. Again, I don't, I can't read German, so I don't know what any of this says other than I see Wendy Pini's name, and that makes me happy. Okay, guys, I'm going to set that aside over here. Oh, she's gorgeous, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. And just like I thought, this is dated 2018, not 2017. Just kind of an interesting little tidbit. These were, sa these were for sale uh, in between 2017 and 2018, so it's kind of... Just kind of a curious little fact as to whether it would say 2017 or 2018, but whatever. That You guys don't care. Oh, wow. She's beautiful. Oh, okay. I'll stop teasing you guys, and I'll show you. By the way, this is huge. This print is 20 by 28 inches. It's huge. And yes, of course, guys, I got a frame for it. I had to get a frame. As soon as I bought this, I was like... There's no way this one's sitting in a tube. This one's going in a frame, and it's going to get put somewhere of importance around my house. Probably in my living room. All right, guys. Without any more ado or teasing or anything like that, may I present to you the homage to Erte. Oh, look how gorgeous she is. It's Winna Will. Oh, look at that, guys. Isn't she just beautiful? This is one of my absolute favorite images of Winnow Well. It's just, it's so gorgeous and elegant. You can see the, the nice S-curve for the line of beauty in her. Oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And then down here, I want to be careful holding it up. Uh, down here is where she signed it. it signed Wendy Peeney, 2018. So, yet another autographed item for my collection. Oh, beautiful. All right, guys. So, let's get this beauty in its frame so it can be safe and ready to hang up. So, this time, I didn't get a cheapy Walmart frame. I got a cheapy Walgreens frame. <laughs> so, I just buy frames. I don't really care too much about the frames. I just need it as protection for the oh-so-important print that it houses. So, someday, if I get more money, maybe I'll be able to afford nice frames for all my stuff, but for now, I do what I can. All right. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys. Whew. Oh, so big. Uh, uh, uh. Where do I put it? Uh, uh. Okay. All right. Hold on. I gotta readjust for just a second. Beautiful, uh, the homage to it uh, needs to go over there. The frame needs to come here. Do, 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 do. Oh, guys, I'm so excited that I finally have this homage to Erte. Oh, she's oh, beautiful, beautiful. And plus, I, I'm a firm believer in you can never have too much Winnow Will artwork around the house, it's especially me because I'm a Winnow Will fan. Okay, it's so big. Oh, and it just came apart. Whoa, coming apart. Okay, this is going to take some doing because this frame, the clear plastic is not hard in it. It's soft, and so it just kind of flopped right out when I opened it. My table is not big enough for this, but we will make do. This might be a little bit more comedic than I meant it to be, guys. We'll see how it goes. Like that, I guess. I am by no means a professional framer or anything like that. So, if you guys have any tips for how to do this better, or tips for making your pictures fit better, or anything like that, tips for just picture framing in general, feel free to comment below, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have a plan. I think. Do I ever know what I'm doing, guys? I don't think I do. I don't think I ever know what I'm doing. I just kind of, I just kind of wing everything I do. I just wing it. I'm just winging it through life, folks. 
All right, guys, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, now we're gonna take the plastic and we're gonna place that very nicely over the beautiful winnow well. If I can get it on there right. I'm probably gonna get it crooked in there and then it's gonna annoy me because I'm a perfectionist. All right, let's try that out. Excuse me, guys. Also, while I've got you guys here, don't forget that Wendy and Richard are going on tour this year. They are hitting up all sorts of places around the US. They already hit up Europe and have come back. And I'm super excited because their first stop in the US is going to be Portland, Oregon. And I'm going to be there, guys. Now, unfortunately, I did write to TFA and I tried to get permission to film in the store during the Q&A session. And unfortunately, but understandably, due to all the legal issues that surround all the different franchises they feature in their store, I couldn't get permission. They could not give me permission to record in the store. So, kind of a bummer. Um, I was really looking forward to actually recording the event. But I'm going to still do something, guys. Just just look for it. I'm still going to do at least like a vlog about my experience there. I will be cosplaying as Moonshade, so maybe I'll do some kind of vlog in my cosplay. Uh, I'm going to do whatever I can. At the very least, I'm going to have a bunch of other vlogs. And the day after Wendy and Richard will be at Tifa in Portland, um, there's going to be a bunch of us fans getting together the very next morning. Uh, we are having the very first Oregon fans meet and greet. Myself and a friend, Linda, actually helped coordinate this, and we booked a venue and everything, and a bunch of us are going to be getting together on March 1st up in Portland. So if you guys are going to be in the Portland area, go ahead and check the video description. I'll make sure to add a link to the Facebook event that Linda and I created to help keep everybody up to date on what's going on with that. But uh, exciting stuff, guys. We're going to have a meet and greet. We're going to be fanning and chatting and, and, and just geeking out about Final Quest, especially issue number 24, the last one, guys. We're going to be freaking and geeking and <laughs> all that, having a blast. Um, we're going to have a trade circle going on, so bring your extras if you're going to be attending. And I hope to see a lot of you guys there. I'm really excited about meeting other ElfQuest fans. So don't forget to check that out if you're going to be in the Portland area on February 28th at the Portland TFA. Do not get mixed up, guys. It's not the Milwaukee location. The Portland TFA is where Wendy and Richard will be. I'm going to be there too. I'm going to have a blast. Very next day on March 1st, we're going to have the very first Oregon ElfQuest fans meet and greet, and I'm really hoping to see some of you guys there. So check out the video description for all the info on those events, and make sure you also check the video description. I will add a link to the other appearances that Wendy and Richard will be making throughout the year, so that maybe you guys, if you don't live on the west coast where I am, Maybe you'll still get a chance to meet Wendy and Richard, the creators of ElfQuest. So much fun, guys. All right, so as I was chattering away, I got this in the frame. I haven't seen it in the frame yet, but it's there. Let's see how it looks. I hope I turn this up right side up. If it's upside down, I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, there she is. There she is. Miss Winnowill. She's so beautiful, isn't she, guys? Look at that. The black snake herself in all of her gorgeous glory. Ah, so exciting, guys. I love this print. This one has got to go in my living room somewhere so that I can see it all the time because I love Winnowell. She's so elegant and beautiful and mysterious. Yeah, sure, she's evil, but you guys, whatever, whatever, okay? Just whatever. I love her. Now that I have my homage to Earth Day and I'm so very, very happy with her, let's get to what you guys are probably all really waiting for. And that's the giveaway. All right, guys, so here I've got my magic purple fedora. See, there's, there's the names inside of it, all the names that you guys entered underneath my other video. And the winners, there's gonna be two winners, guys. I'm gonna pull two names, not just one, but two. The two winners, will win one little mini French edition that was gifted to me from my Twitter follower, Kogi. Thanks again, Kogi, if you're watching. Uh, the winners will win one mini French edition. These are really, really cool. They're just like a little teaser of ElfQuest, a little taste of what happened. This is, I think this is Siege at Blue Mountain. Oh no, it's Original Quest. Now that I actually look through it, yeah, this is totally original quest. Okay, so the winners will win one little French edition, and this does feature a bit of the original quest in it. Now, the cover makes you think that it would be like Siege at the Blue Mountain, Siege at Blue Mountain in there, 
or something because of the costumes that they're wearing, the outfits they have on. But uh, flipping through it, it's actually... Yeah, that's to totally original quest. This is when Cutter and Skywise find the Forbidden Grove. So it looks like it's a book that it's not. But in any case, guys, the winners of this giveaway, two winners, will win one of these little mini French editions each. And they will also win two, not just one, but two of the ElfQuest collectible coins. I'm giving you guys two so that you can either keep both and display it on each side because one side says Father Tree Press and has the old Father Tree Press symbol on it. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see that on camera, but one side says Father Tree Press and the other side says ElfQuest with a bunch of sending stars. So I will send the winners two coins so that either you can display it on each side or so you can have one to give a friend if you want and one French edition. So we're going to have two winners. Each person will win this right here. Two coins and a French edition. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm teasing you guys enough. I'm blabbering on enough. Let's get to the winners. Okay. Purple fedora. Let's see. We've got names in a hat. Names in a hat. Oh, they're getting stuck there. Oh, la la. Names in a hat. Okay, guys, you ready? Here we go. Winner number one is going to be... Let's go with that one right there. Did I pull two? I pulled more than two. Oh, let's try that again. I pulled way too many out. Ooh, I pulled like three names. Ooh, let's pull one. One name. One name at a time. Make sure those are all nice and loose. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's try this again. First name right there. I've got it. One name. I can tell it's already open. And the winner of this giveaway, the first winner of this giveaway, is Robert W. Congratulations, Robert W. You have won this giveaway. You are my first winner. If you leave me your name and address, or not your name, I've got your name, but if you leave your address either down in the comments below or get a hold of me on Facebook or Twitter, one of those, send me a private message or a, or a direct message. Uh, let me know your mailing address and I will send you your prize. You won a French Mini, and two ElfQuest coins. All right, guys, we've got one more winner to pick. Let's see who that is. Shake it up here so I can't see it. Oh! <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Winner number two is going to be that one. Let's go with that one right there. All right, guys, you ready for this? Who is winner number two? Winner number two is one of my YouTube uh, subscribers, Tech Core Duo. So congratulations, Tech Core Duo. Get a hold of me on Facebook or Twitter or any way possible. Let me know of your mailing address and I will send you two ElfQuest coins and the French mini little teaser edition. All right, guys. So that was it. Congratulations, everybody. Everybody say congrats to Robert W. and Tech Core Duo. Congratulations, guys. You guys have won this giveaway. Now, stay tuned, guys. If you didn't win this giveaway, I do still have another giveaway to do in my next vlog. So stay tuned, stay happy, and we'll see if you guys win in the next one. Also, don't worry, I still have a, a ton of these coins. Remember, Richard Peeney, Elf Pop himself, sent me these coins to use as giveaway prizes. The ones I just gave away are sitting here in front of me. I have four coins pulled out of the bag, and I still have six coins to give away. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue giving two coins to each person or to spread them out a little bit more. I might do one coin to each person. Not exactly sure. You'll just have to stay tuned and find out. If you guys have any suggestions for giveaways or if you think that this is going good or anything like that, make sure to comment below. I love suggestions. I love feedback. Even if you want to like give me some creative cri uh, criticisms, go for it. Like Tell me what you want to see different with my channel because I'm doing this for you guys. Yeah, it's fun for me. I'm having a blast. But honestly, it's not really for me. I'm doing this for you guys. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't know very much about ElfQuest and the many, many collectibles that are available. So I'm trying to spread some knowledge about that. I'm trying to spread knowledge about the series so that it gets more attention. Because, guys, if you hadn't guessed, I'm obsessed with the series. I think this is the best series in the world. The best story. The best artwork. Like... I love ElfQuest. If you guys hadn't, couldn't tell, I love ElfQuest. And so part of my job on this channel is to spread the word about ElfQuest. It's also to bring in all the fans to try to make us one big tribe. So guys, 
If you like this video, if you want to see more giveaways from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit that like button down below, comment if you have any suggestions. I'm an open book, I love to answer questions, and I love to take in feedback. So if you've got anything to say to me, comment down below or get a hold of me on one of the many social media websites because I'm all over the place, guys. So find me. Also, don't forget that Wendy and Richard are going on tour this year for the 40 Years of Pointed Ears tour. And if you'd like to see if they're coming to a town near you, go ahead and check the video description down below. I will add a link to their appearance pages that lists everywhere they'll be attending this year. All right, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you subscribe and like if you want to help my channel grow. Please, 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 Please share my videos, share my channel, tell the world about ElfQuest Collector's Guide because, guys, I am trying my best to make this channel bigger so that I can do bigger and better things for you. Because if it wasn't for you guys watching these videos, I wouldn't be doing this because I, I know about this stuff. I'm collecting this stuff. It's you guys that I'm doing this for. It's you guys I want to show this stuff to, I want to teach you about, I want you to know how to find the good deals on these items. I don't want you to fret and go, oh, is this, does this exist? How much can I find this for? That's what I want to do, guys. I want to educate the world about ElfQuest. <laughs> All right, so I did want to say one last thing about the homage to Urte prints. They are now sold out, so don't go searching for them. If you find them on eBay, they're probably going to be pretty pricey because they're probably going to be back to the actual limited editions that were out, the um, numbered 300 editions that came out. So uh, good luck if you do want one of those. I did see a couple people were very bummed that they missed out once these did sell out. I'm very sorry to, to hear that, guys. Uh, if you want, make sure you join the ElfQuest Collectors Unite group on Facebook and check out the Hunting For list in that group. It's a list that I maintain myself and my uh, moderator, Marco. We maintain that list and it's basically a wish list for all the members that want to participate. You go there, leave your name, you leave a list of the ElfQuest items you are most hunting for, and then it's an easy access list for people to look up and say, hey, who's looking for this item that I have to offer? Or, you know, things like that. So it's a very helpful list. There's lots of participants on it. I myself, of course, am participating on it. I'm the first name on it. But, uh, it's been really, really helpful. It, it's extremely helpful in that group because then if somebody posts about an item that they've spotted on eBay, such as the homage to Urte print, if they post about it in the group, then someone such as myself or maybe my moderator Marco can go through the hunting for list, find all the people that are looking for that specific item, and actually tag them in the post on Facebook so that they have the, basically the first chance to jump on those listings. So guys, it's a very, very helpful list if you're trying to build your ElfQuest collection. So if you're not a member already, make sure to head on over to Facebook, join the ElfQuest Collectors Unite group. The members are extremely helpful and friendly, and we absolutely love helping each other's collections to grow. All right, guys, I think that's all I've got for you in this video. I talked about my homage to Urte. I did my giveaway. I talked about Wendy and Richard going on tour, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. All right, guys, thank you so, so much for all of your continued support. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos so far, and I hope you continue to show that support because it continues to inspire me to keep doing bigger, better things for this channel. Okay, guys? So until next time, shade and sweet water, and happy hunting.